I would love to face Dustin Poirier because he's such a killer. Smiling. Oh! He's the UFC should be terrified of Benoit Saint Denis, and for good reason. A former special service agent who fought battles of life and death to a mercenary who has mercilessly slayed every fighter that he has beaten in MMA, Benoit Saint Denis has established himself as a seriously dangerous contender in the UFC lightweight Shark Tank, and he is now ready to unleash fire and fury on some of the division's top dogs. Dustin Poirier already tried backing out once. No one wants to fight this guy, and for good reason. Benoit Saint Denis is the most dangerous man in the UFC. Just look at what Joe Rogan has to say about this guy. He's so good, man. And he's so good so quick. For a guy that started taking martial arts so he could be a better soldier, it is insane. Benoit Saint Denis came into this world on December 18, 1995, in Nimes, a sparsely populated city that was once a vital outpost of the Roman Empire. But as much as the city's glorious past inspired the French phenom to fight for what he believed in, his genetics played a major role in his adrenaline-fueled adventures. The eldest son of a skilled judo practitioner in the French army, Saint Denis started training in judo at only eight years old, earning a black belt at the age of 16. He even dabbled into rugby and football before walking into the footsteps of his old man and joining the army where he served in the 1st Marine Infantry Paratroopers Regiment in the French Army Special Forces Command. The Call of Duty saw Saint Denis battle terrorist groups across West Africa, including the notorious Boko Haram, and for his dedication and bravery, he was honored with the Medal of the Nation's Gratitude in the Combatant's Cross in September 2017. Two years later, Saint Denis dropped his guns and picked up gloves to fight a different fight. A former soldier against bottom-tier MMA opposition was always a bad idea. But Saint Denis had to start at some point, and he made a successful start to his MMA career by cracking his opponent with his fiery fists before locking in a guillotine to put him to sleep. Saint Denis was so highly rated in his early days in MMA that he earned a stare-down fighting championship welterweight title shot in only his second fight. Despite his opponent being almost twice as big as him, Saint Denis fought fire with fire in a gritty ground battle that saw both men turning the tables on each other several times. Ultimately, Saint Denis won the fight by a decision. A few months later, Saint Denis fought an extremely dangerous adversary in the form of Ibrahim Basarov, an 8 and one fighter with four submission finishes. Needless to say, the fight was an absolute war. Saint Denis opened the fight with fiery rights, crunching lefts and mean body and low kicks, before going for a takedown late in the first minute. The fist fight was followed by a series of scrambles that saw both men transitioning from dominant to dangerous positions. Late in round three, Saint Denis latched onto Basarov's back, but the latter slipped out of it and ended up in the God of War's guard, where an armbar forced an immediate tap. Following his win in France, Saint Denis spread his reign of terror to Slovenia, where he dominated Ivica Truschek on the mat and submitted him with the gruesome armbar. Next up was a trip to Stockholm, Sweden, where the French MMA star dominated the grappling proceedings for a round and a half before melting Mario Said with a vicious left uppercut. In Bahrain, Saint Denis took out Luan Santiago with an arm triangle choke. And in Italy, the God of War used the same move to send Arcaiz Ramos Gudari packing. Following his world domination, Benoit Saint Denis signed with the UFC, facing the prospect killer Eliseu Zaleski dos Santos on short notice. It was a far from ideal start from the Frenchman since he got battered by a vastly experienced campaigner. There were a ton of moments where the fight could and should have been stopped, but the referee let it linger on making BDS take an atrocious amount of unnecessary punishment. Since his early hiccup, Saint Denis has been on a tear. In his second UFC fight, Saint Denis faced Nicolas Stolze and decimated him on the mat, threatening with submissions throughout before finally locking in a rear naked choke and cutting off the blood supply. A few months later, Saint Denis blew the roof off with his ruthless aggression when he faced Gabriel Miranda. The Frenchman started the fight by pressing his opponent and throwing bombs. In the second minute, he cracked Miranda with a spinning back fist and followed through with a takedown, 
adding ground and pound as a cherry on top. Once the two returned to their feet, St. Denis dropped Miranda with an earth-shattering right hand, but the Brazilian somehow managed to survive the ground and pound that followed. 16 seconds into round two, St. Denis dropped Miranda with a vicious right hand and sent him to the Shadow Realm on the follow-up. Next up, it was the highly touted Ismael Bonfim to taste the legendary French power. Right off the bat, the hard-nosed French fighter turned the heat on with thudding body kicks and throwing in some takedowns for good measure. When Saint Denis managed to bring Bonfim to the ground, he wasted no time maneuvering to his back and smoothly locking in a face crank. Despite Bonfim's efforts to resist, the grip was just too tight to escape and ultimately led to a tap. Saint Denis' dominant run against Brazilians continued in his next fight at UFC Paris, where he faced Thiago Moises. The fight got off to an awkward start with a couple of low blows, but once they found their rhythm, fists were flying. In between the haymakers, the lightweights showcased their ground skills with Saint Denis going for takedowns and Moises countering with submissions from his back. Round two followed a similar script, with both fighters incorporating wrestling and powerful strikes keeping their action up close and intense. Drawing energy from the enthusiastic French crowd, Saint Denis managed to muscle Moises to the ground against the fence and unleashed a barrage of hard punches. Moises tried his best to defend himself by turtling up, but Saint Denis' relentless assault forced the referee to pull the trigger. A couple of months later, Saint Denis battled a tough cookie in the shape of Matt Frivola, who over. With that, Benoit St. Denis secured five finishes in a row, and he now sits at the number 11 spot in UFC lightweight rankings. At only 28 years old, Benoit St. Denis has established himself as one of the best 155-pound fighters in the world, and his statistics speak volumes of his well-rounded skill set. The French star averages nearly six significant strikes per minute, five takedowns per 15 minutes, and nearly two submissions per 15 minutes on average. However, Saint Denis is very hittable as well, and he absorbs over four significant strikes per minute on average. His defense is not as good as someone like an Islam Makachev because he fights fire with fire. Saint Denis loves to push the pace and trade leather like a man possessed, and he's extremely strong on the feet and on the mat, making him a very dangerous opponent for most UFC lightweights. He can trade bombs with them as well as take them down and smash them into the abyss. More so, he is exceptionally durable and has a chin that not many can crack. The next time Saint Denis enters the cage, he will be up against one of the greatest lightweights of all time in the form of Dustin Poirier, who is one of the division's elite boxers with a world-class grappling skill set. Can Benoit Saint Denis crush the diamond with his relentless pace, pressure, and aggression? You know, God, it's such a crazy sport. I think luck and chance chance is a factor and i'm not sure how big of a factor but i think it is a factor so i absolutely believe that he could um if you know he's not unlucky what do you guys think let us know your thoughts in the comments if you like the video please subscribe to our channel and turn on those notifications thanks for watching and we'll see you next time if you like this video then go ahead and click these two videos right here come on you know you wanna